Magnificent 
Allegra, Marjorie, uh, Moonwick, Nicola, Percival, Pensino, Reinhold, the Honorable Lady Ariadne, the Honorable Lady Barbara, the Honorable Lord Gavin, the Honorable Lady Merwin, Tilla, Ulfren, and Volia. Thank you all for returning. Four 
deserves to be. Huzzah! Huzzah! Their Majesties, call into their presence Lady Victoria of High Harrogate. Draw near and heed the words of Wigfang, King by right of arms of the Middle Kingdom, and Naessa, Queen of Smirk and Mischief. Let all know that the participation in fundraisers, demos, and helping with youth classes, as well as merchanting and generous help in event background needs such as setup and cleanup, Victoria of High Harrogate's efforts have not gone unnoticed, and we recognize the exemplary service with which she has happily, have freely given to our realm. We do hereby commend her and are pleased to bestow upon her the award of the Purple Fret. So, Victoria does a lot of work with newcomers into our society. And that is an important piece of what we do. The new, inviting newcomers, making them feel welcome, getting them to stay, is not easy sometimes. And this one is taking the time to bring them in, to make them feel welcome, to make them feel safe, and to introduce them to all the things. Thank you for all your service. For Victoria, huzzah! Keep getting reward 
patience for you because, like, you sh she's doing the thing. I know she does the thing. Well, she, and then we get it again. She's doing the thing. I know she's doing the thing. I can't get it. Some of our most loyal companions of the Order of the Laurel. Companions of the Order of the Laurel, present yourselves before their majesties. Noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Marjorie, with her skill in glasswork and beat making, is worthy of elevation into the Order of the Laurel? Aye. Call forth the candidate. The Honorable Lady Marjorie de Fairfield, present yourselves before their majesties.
says she's nice and intelligent, and she acts like an adult. Now, as a rose, I feel I should be much more elegant. So I will tell you, Marjorie is charming, friendly, approachable. She's creative and knowledgeable, and she is responsible. In other words, she's a nice, intelligent adult. <laughs> Is there a member of the Order of the Chivalry who will attest to Marjorie's courtesy? Yes, Your Majesty, I have that distinct pleasure. I'm Count William of Fairhaven, Knight of the Society, Master of the Pelican, and I'd like to talk about Marjorie. <laughs> Marjorie's been my friend for a very long time, and there are many skilled masters and mistresses of the arts who can speak about her prowess. What I'd like to talk about is her generosity, her bee rescue, yay bees, videos, posts, making beads available to people. Beads have been around a long time. They are generally far older than most of us realize. And Marjorie makes this amazing art available to anyone who is interested. And she is, her, her sense of fun is infectious. Her enthusiasm for sharing her art is beyond measurable value to our kingdom, to our populace, to the crown. I recommend her most highly and am pleased and proud to speak with her today. I, Your Majesty, I am Master Orn, member of your most order of the Pelican. I will speak of her if I may. I have known Marjorie for almost two decades now, and in that time, I have seen her pick up this craft, that skill, this art, that science, until she found her beadwork. She's jumped into that feet first and hasn't looked back. But I'm not Laurel. I'm not here to speak of those things. In my opinion, uh, teaching is one of those things that is half Laurel, half Pelican. I've known Marjorie to schedule classes. I've known Marjorie to randomly start teaching people. She will teach them about her lamp work. She'll even teach them about these other sciences and crafts and stuff that she learned that she Kind of like, but wasn't her thing. But when she does teach those, she will go. To, she will teach and say, "Okay, this is as far as I can take you with those things. Let's go find who can take you further." And in that, I highly recommend her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Marjorie, right mindful of your services, society, and the responses to the wishes of the, your peers. Your resolve to make you mistress of the world. As the laurel wreath has ever stood for excellence, so do we give it to you as a symbol of mastery of your heart. Therefore, will you, Marjorie, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governments of this order as you most surely have till now? Will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as befits one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? Do you promise to train any dependents? You may have to do likewise. I will. Is there a medallion? Marjorie? Wear this cloak in outward token of your new station. Is 
very <laughs> Wear this wreath as an outward token of your excellence. I am here for a field team service to the crown of the middle kingdom, to ever enrich the crown with my talents and abilities. science that betoken a member of our most noble order of the Laurel. 
Therefore, we charge you to stand your vigil. Think well on your deeds and present yourself before our court at a later date, where you will be offered elevation into our order of the world. to do more push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Only if Theo can do them. Yeah, if Theo can do them. Uh, during our first reign, uh, Serena came to us with the idea for the Tournament of the Arts. And uh, we thought it sounded like a great idea that we weren't going to have to do any of the running for it. She totally took on and did all of the organization and work for it. Um, and it has grown and prospered and gone to other kingdoms. Uh, she has, she's a treasure to the Middle Kingdom as well as to society. She is most definitely worthy of this order. I highly recommend her to you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a member of the chivalry who will attest to Serena's courtesy? Hi, Your Majesties. I am Gregoire, Knight and Pelican, and I am here to talk about Countess Serena. As we have heard, Her Excellency created the Tournament of Arts, and that in and of itself is an, ex a, an example of prowess in service but she went a step beyond and trained her successor to run the Tournament of the Arts. It has continued to flourish and grow because of her stewardship. She took the idea of the craft person's green and went from, hey, this is something that might be cool in the kingdom, to something that is now featured at events throughout all of the regions of the kingdom and at Penzik. I am sure that we'll be seeing it in other kingdoms soon. That speaks of her prowess as a leader, but more importantly, perhaps, of a pelican. When she was on the throne, she sacrificed of herself to shield the people of this kingdom from bad things happening. <laughs> Those bad things she took upon herself, and for that, I am eternally grateful and can only recommend her for this and so much more. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a companion of the Laurel who can attest to her arts and science? Your Majesties, I have that honor, and my name is Honor, by the way. Please, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everyone said what I was going to say, so uh, we're going to wing it. That's just me. I had the pleasure of meeting Serena because I got to be her bardic champion for her reign. 
And the amount of service that she did during her reign, not everyone knows how hard it is, um, but those who get to serve on staff see a tiny peak. We don't see all the evenings, but we definitely see the work that goes in on the weekends. And the work that she put in was above and beyond. Normally, sometimes, people take a break after that, <laughs> but her enthusiasm and inexhaustible energy for the arts and science and for this kingdom propelled her to continue to work faithfully and constantly. So I cannot do anything but recommend her for this. Technically, yes. I was also her apprentice because I'm a very lucky person. And she's one of the best human beings in the world. Thank you. Is there a master of defense who will attest to Serena's courage and honor? Your Majesty, the defender who was meant to speak for Serena regretfully has fallen ill. But if it pleases you, he has sent words, and I would read them with you. Yes, please. Hear these, the words of Adam Coleman, recognized as the seventh master of defense of the Middle Kingdom, for they shine a light on Serena Kimballway. The period ceremony is perhaps the most important cultural act we have in the society. We come together to celebrate the greatness given by the best of us, a shared experience that allows us all to reflect upon the qualities that matter and to see those qualities are reflected in one person so that we are all elevated into a community of purpose. It is arguably sacred. So it was at my elevation where Serena was there, princess, to bear witness to my last unanswered blow. But more important even than that, she was there to see that my garb was misbehaving. It was windy, and my shirt collar was more sail than stitch work. So she fixed it, leaving her throne to kneel next to me and solve what needed to be better. Because that is who Serena is. Noble, worthy, and absolutely dedicated to elevating your populace to greatness. She has done, and she will do, always exactly that. For this reason, I commend her to you. Thank you. Noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Countess Serena is worthy of elevation into the laurel of the Order of the Pelicans? <laughs> I can word, I promise. <laughs> Serena, right mindful of your service to society and the responsiveness of your peers, we are resolved to make you master of the Pelicans. Which creature will nourish her young, when necessary, with the blood of her own breast, and therefore has chosen as the most appropriate symbol of the service of, to the society. Therefore will you, Serena, give us your word that you will continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order as you most surely have till now. Will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as befit one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? I will. Do you promise to train any dependents in service as you have done yourself? I will. Is there a medallion? Then take from our hands this symbol of nobility and token of our esteem. Wear it proudly that all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged in, in this day. Is there a coat? Well, not, well, oh, there's one more medallions. <laughs> Any more medallions? <laughs> there will be a legacy red. This is the legacy pelican medallion of the Clecklands, first received by Elizabeth Ales, passed to Sarah of the Erie Seas, to Alda Maurice Vensky, to Lucius Aurelius Valharic, to Zuriel Aurelius Nightshade, to Dmitri Zirov, Sorsha Fraser, to Angharic, and now to Serena. Is there a coat? I am Majesty. This magnificent portrait. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is embroidered 
with Armin. <laughs> <laughs> Embroidered with the symbols of Serena's peerages, rose, laurel, and now pelican. We all can agree that it is truly a work of art. <laughs> Looks great on you. Wear this coat as an outward token of your station. Is there a cat? There is, Your Majesty. Wear this cap of maintenance as a symbol of your service. And now we will have your. I here swear fealty and do homage. I here swear fealty and do homage to the crown of the Middle Kingdom. To the crown of the Middle Kingdom. To serve the crown in all things. To serve the crown in all things. To remember courtesy and kindness. To remember courtesy and kindness. To prize justice above personal gain. Justice above personal gain. To labor, to labor for the common, common good. good. To labor for the common good. To, to enrich, enrich the kingdom and the society. To enrich the kingdom and the society. So they may flourish and grow. So they may flourish and grow. And, and to, to be worthy of the title of Pelican. And to be worthy of the title of Pelican. Here by my honor. My hand. Here by my honor. My hand, my hand and, and my heart, and my heart, swear, swear I, swear I, Serena Kimblewick. This do we hear, and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, and oath breaking with justice. Master Serena, you request to be done. in remembrance of oaths given and received, in remembrance of your lineage and obligation. Be thou a good talent. Rise, Mr. Master Serena, companion of the pelican. <laughs> Come to you empty with the hopes that you will come back 
and have your talk build and share stories with the rest of us of what you've enjoyed and why you've not been. So, please take this. Can you guys get one? No. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. Your Excellencies, have a good day. Have a good day. say thank you to everyone who came out to the Tournament of Arts Day. This is the first time that I've attended the Tournament of Arts, and you have all set the bar very high for me. Um, seeing the number of laurels here, seeing the number of entrants here, it was a great showing of the arts and sciences community within this kingdom. Uh, I've seen, I've traveled to other kingdoms during our reign, and the level of Expertise and mastery that I see in the middle of the kingdom right. far outweigh what I see elsewhere. So, congratulations to all of you, and I'm very excited to be able to see and witness everything that you've done today. We've also been able to recognize people for their mastery of what they do, whether it be mastery of service, whether it be mastery of tomfoolery, or whether it be mastery of the arts and sciences. This is not my first QA. Uh, my first
large TOA was quite small. And to see it now turned into something quite large, just shocks and awes and, and like inspires me. The people I visited today, the people I have visited today are inspiring. Make me want to pick AMS back up when I'm done. When I have time. She hasn't stopped. <laughs> but to come out here to show your art takes a lot, and I can't thank you enough for doing that. To come out here and to help people with their art takes a fair amount as well, and I thank you for doing that. That's how dogs say no. Oh. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making this T-Way great. And there's probably some expectations for the next one. <laughs> there's should be great as well. Thank you. Okay.